quality is really important to Santa Monica because this has always been a city of choice. People come here for lots of different reasons. They come here for recreation. They come here to spend their days here with their children. They come here to work. So a lot of times people don't feel that they have the choice that they should have. The choice to move about with a car, without a car. How do you get around by foot? How do you get around by bike? How do you get around by bus? We've been striving to diversify our transportation network over the last five years. We've made a commitment to have no net increase in vehicle trips in the PM peak hour uh, to address resident concerns, sustainability issues, and quality of life. We're excited to show you a lot of our newest infrastructure. We're gonna visit all kinds of bike lanes, green, buffered, double buffered. Obviously, we're gonna ride the Breeze bike share bikes. We're gonna see bikes down on the ocean, people commuting, people with kids. We have a blossoming bike culture in Santa Monica that we're really, really proud of. The Expo Line that is part of the phase two of the light rail project brings it from Culver City and it will finally land here in Santa Monica. For the first time since the 50s we've had rail in Santa Monica and once we land here we'll see the connections that are being worked on with the big blue bus and the Esplanade and you'll be able to have a big wide pedestrian walkway that'll introduce you to the city, uh, to the different areas you can go for shopping, eating, uh, getting down to the beach. bike share so it's a city-wide system and we have 500 bikes at 75 stations right now launched in November 2015 and have over 10,000 subscribers already smart bike is an evolution in bike share and so what, what it does is it allows uh, the technology to be on board the bike versus at the station itself and so one of the things we really get is like real-time uh, accurate data about actually where people are riding the bike. And that data can be used for all kinds of great planning and, and, and new bike infrastructure, uh, finding out where new stations might need to go, etc. It provides that critical first last mile link to transit. It provides the critical link to your local grocery store or school. And so we really see it as a critical part of getting around on a daily basis. Some cities that have the docking system will face problems where they have dock block and the user then has to go find another station to get rid of the bike. Like our users could come here and find a full station but lock over at the another bike rack and end their rental and not be penalized, you know, because they're nearby. There's a little screen back here that does a bunch of things. One is it allows you to access the bike, open your account and unlock the bike and then uh, once you have a bike and you're riding it, then it gives you your trip information, duration of ride, you know, how many miles you went, and, and then how much it's costing you. Hi, I'm Joe Linton. I'm the editor of Streets Vlog Los Angeles. Right next to Los Angeles is Santa Monica, and they've got a lot of great bike facilities. Some are flashy. This one right here is a double buffered bike lane, which I haven't seen anywhere else in the world in the known universe. And uh, this has buffers on the left and right. It keeps bicycles out of the car lane and it actually buffers them a little bit from traffic. This is 6th Street in Santa Monica. It was a road diet or at least a lane reconfiguration. You can actually see the, what I call the scars of the old road striping underneath it. The center turn lane was removed and the double buffered bike lanes were added. Big Blue Bus is a regional service provider. We provide public transit here in the Los Angeles area. We are a Santa Monica company. We serve 51 square miles throughout the region. And so we provide a huge portion of the public transit that's available for residents and visitors in and around Los Angeles. The Big Blue Bus has a really strong identity and a really strong brand. It's very important to us to maintain that. It's blue, I think it's blue, because of the ocean and our relationship to a coastal community. The bubbles that you see, the scheme on the Big Blue Bus, it's a brand that no one forgets. We feel that brand identity offers comfort. It's like comfort food. Something you recognize gives you comfort. And so when people see the Big Blue Bus riding around town, I want people to understand we we are like home to you. We're standing here on our Michigan Avenue Greenway, affectionately known as Mango. It's part of a 20-year vision that came to fruition with a lot of community input. And this is our first neighborhood greenway. It connects a lot of our neighborhoods that have been previously underserved with bike infrastructure. It connects our, many of our schools. 
Uh, it's a slow street. We've got traffic circles. We've got um, diverters if we need them in the future in the toolbox. When this is finally complete, we'll see this connecting the western edge of the city to nearly the, all the way to the eastern edge of the city. It'll connect most of our schools and, uh, as I said, a neighborhood that has not previously gotten an infrastructure like this. We're standing in front of the Santa Monica High School. Over 3,000 students go to school here every day. And the project behind me was part of a Safe Routes to School grant to build Safe Routes improvements around the high school. One of the things you're looking at right now is Pico Boulevard, a very busy street. But what it does, in addition to the high school, is it cuts off the network of bikeways and walkways and ways for kids to get to school. And what we chose to do here was give them a connection from the street six to seven. Previously, they would have to walk their bike across the crosswalk and walk along the sidewalk. So this bikeway, with bike signal heads on both ends, is now a good connection for them. So this route takes you a nice route to the beach, parallels Pico, and then also connects on the east end to the Mission Avenue Greenway. It's very evident any day you go out, you can see more and more and more people riding. And I think one thing that we're very proud of here is that we have a pretty good percentage of female bike riders, which as we know are the indicator species for a safe bike city. We are known for walking in Santa Monica. It is part of our daily life. It's part of our culture. It is part of what LA County residents come to do in Santa Monica. People will drive here just to walk. Uh, so we're really excited to have a best in action plan so that experience can be even safer than it was before. My vision for the future of Santa Monica is for Santa Monica to be recognized as the city of choice. It has long been recognized as a city of sustainability. However you come here, however you want to negotiate the streets, we want you to know that Santa Monica is that city. At the end of the day, we want these streets, the streets of Santa Monica, to know your name. We know that we build and create a Santa Monica for everyone and those choices and to be a purveyor of those choices is what I see Santa Monica being.